Hello Aquarius, here to do your reading for the week of the 20th to the 26th of August or thereabouts. It's Yvonne from the Aussie Goddess. Um, this reading will not resonate with everybody. Of course we're all a little bit different in that we have, you know, different planets in our chart. So just make sure you check out the other aspects of your birth chart your moon, your rising or ascendant, and also your Venus. Um, if you have another planet that's dominant in your chart too, you can go and check that out. My Venus is in Aquarius, so sometimes my Aquarius does resonate with me. If you find that my readings don't resonate, that's okay. I do not take it personally. There are lots of wonderful readers on YouTube, so you'll be able to find one that does resonate with you, that's for sure. So today I am using the Chiro Marchetti cards, which are lovely cards. They have very, very beautiful pictures on them. One of my favourites. I often put them away and then go back and pull them back out again, and I use them a lot for my personal readings at home. And let's get cracking. Let's see what's going on for you. So first card out. Two of cups in reverse. Okay. What is happening for you, Aquarius? So this can be one of a, of a couple of things. So let's just run through the messages I'm getting here. Uh, two of cups can mean that you are waiting for somebody to make a decision on you or take a chance on you. It could be that you're having time out from a relationship because you aren't seeing eye to eye. It's in the reverse here. Um, it also can be that you've been waiting for someone to come in. Maybe you've made an offer to someone, but they haven't quite made their mind up yet. Um, you could have argued with someone and you're waiting for them to come back or, or make amends with you. But whatever it is, there's love here. Um, the, the reason it would be in the reverse would be because it's either not ready to come to fruition or you've put it on pause through something that's happened. But it's definitely love. Okay, so the Four of Cups has come out next. And the Four of Cups has a number of meanings as well because it can mean that you weren't happy with the offer that was given to you, dissatisfied, you're bored with the relationship, um, this cup is not quite what you wanted. It can also mean you have other, other people, other situations, you're just not interested in this particular one and you've pushed it away. Um, the feeling I get mostly with the two of these is that someone's made an offer and you've knocked it back because it isn't quite what you want. So for example, somebody come, might have come forward who has a, you know, a real uh, crush, is crushing on you really badly, and they've come forward to see, you know, one night stand, bit of a date, whatever. And you're saying, well, actually, that doesn't suit me. I would prefer to wait for the real thing. I want love. So it can be a sort of energy like that. It can also be an energy where you've been in a relationship for a long while and you're actually getting a little bored and you want to move on. And that's OK, too, um, because you have got enough cups here to keep you going so it's not like this is the only cup you've got to rely on it could mean you've got other choices here um, so whatever way it is that's what's showing up for you at the moment now afterwards here comes the knight of cups here is in reverse too and the knight of cups is also a person there's a lot of cups in this reading um, the knight of cups talks about a person coming in with an offer and they're upside down too so now what I'm feeling is you may make an offer to someone else and you've been turned down by them because I see you being in a place where, hey, I've got this cup to offer you and you haven't taken it. Um, and what do I do now? And I'm stuck with this cup and I don't know what to do with it. Uh, and that's the energy that's here. So I'm feeling that maybe you've made an offer to someone and they've decided to either wait it out um, and think about it. And now you're left holding the cup. <laughs> so... It's like you've been left in this limbo land with this cup thinking, OK, what do I do now? Like I've offered this person love. They've said to me they're not ready or they're not interested or whatever else. And I'm really feeling sad because I've got this cup. I have these feelings. What do I do? And you've come to this little bit of a standstill. So it's sort of like, what is the next move? OK, were you honest with this person when you made this offer? Because I feel here now that it's the offers come in and the person hasn't trusted the person that's given them the offer. It's almost like they've looked at the cup and they've gone, 
I'm not sure this is the real thing because of the way you're offering it to me. And you're not in your truth when you're offering it. You're, you know, offering me something that you call love or you call an offer. But it feels it feels insincere. It feels like it's not right. It's not real. I want to know, do you really want this before I move forward on it? So Aquarius, what this is asking then is for you to make sure that if you're making an offer to someone that you truly are speaking from the heart. Because I feel like in this particular scenario, you've either rushed in but without thinking about it or you've not put it in a way that the person is serious enough to take this offer from you. Okay, so you could be dealing with a person who is a queen of wands. So it's very possible that the person you are making the offer to is an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, male or female. Um, it could just be that this person's very, very fiery and you're coming in with this very watery energy and they're not, um, they're not taking you seriously. Uh, maybe you haven't done enough to back up your offer um, and they're definitely, they're, they're, either waiting for you to come back and speak up about what it is you truly want. So I feel like, oh, it feels so half-assed to me. It's like you've you've rushed into something without really thinking about how you're going to do it. And that could have been something you've done through being nervous or unsure. The Queen of Wands can present as someone so beautiful, so attractive, so sexy, and maybe you've just become totally overwhelmed with it and you haven't been truthful and the other person's not believing that you're sincere. The thing is, you have the Six of Wands in the world here, and both of these say to me that this is the right way to go, that you have made the right choice, that this is the right person for you, but you just have to do this differently. And maybe now it's time to step forward and say, you know, I can back up what I've offered you. I, I know that's what I want. It really is. I really like you. I'm really ready for this. That's what the person's waiting to hear. They're strong. They're confident. They're powerful. They're standing in their truth. And I feel like they don't see this as being, you know, incredibly sincere. So the Six of Wands talks about gaining a victory and the world talks about, you know, it can talk about trick you know going on a trip or, or going on a holiday but in this particular scenario it looks as though it's finishing a, a cycle up so maybe it's a little bit of a lesson here for you um to you know be honest with your feelings to be straightforward don't beat around the bush don't you know make offers and present things without thinking about how you're going to do that first and you know because you just look like you're just not telling the truth or you're not you're not backing it up you're just not backing it up. It's like an empty, empty offer. Okay. All right. So then we have the two of wands in reverse and the lovers in reverse. Uh, and as I said to you in the beginning, I think that this offer is good. I think this was the right thing to do. And I think you've moved forward on it properly. And you just haven't, you've been too much in your head and you haven't gone in with your heart showing. And this, this reading showing that you need to have your heart blazing when you go in here. You need to take on the energy of the Queen of Wands. You need to be passionate, determined, um, you know, and talk about what you want. Feel attractive. Feel that that person wants you as much as you want them. Because the Two of Wands here talks about moving into a different direction and having a choice about two ways to go. And I'm concerned now, because this hasn't worked, that you're going to walk away from it without taking another chance on it. And actually, you need to go back and take that chance. You need to go back and speak honestly, because I think this is for you. The lover sits here. So I really feel like this is for you. Don't walk away from it. If you've half-assed it, go back and finish off what you started. I know it's a huge risk, but you need to do it because this person is for you. You are moving into a new cycle and it's with them. So if this is a person you've wanted to be with, I think you're meant to be together. The world card comes up when it's showing the end of a cycle and moving into the next one. And to me, that feels like you're moving from a cycle of being independent on your own into a cycle of being with someone new. So I really feel that you need to take this chance and go back. Oh, God, I love the cards. <laughs> so the sun has come out. Um, right at the end is the outcome to this. And so Aquarius, I would say to you that this is destined to be. 
this is a beautiful relationship. You just have to go back and make sure the person knows what you're offering. Um, I really feel that you are, at the moment, beating yourself up, feeling a bit cheesed off that you've been knocked back. I feel that that's the energy you're in at the moment. You need to pull all your... Um, all your resources together and go back and say, actually, I may have come across as a bit insincere, but it's you that I want and it's you I want to move into the future with because the sun card here tells me for sure that it's where you're meant to be. Thanks, Aquarius.